Hello and welcome to my channel. If you'd like to come to my live Sunday night meetings or have a private session with me, you can subscribe via my website. Okay, this person's query is related to the definitions of consciousness awareness. I'll respond to it as I go through it. It's quite, it's not, no, it's not that long actually. And there's another one, but I'll do that one next. So, sure we can't say there is my awareness. However, as soon as something is obvious, even though it can't be known, this obviousness is, in my definition, what is tr traditionally referred to as awareness or universal versal consciousness. The immediate non-verbal obviousness unrelated to thinking. Yeah, I mean, what can we say? I think it's uh, always good to go from the only place there is, which is here. And um, it's amazing. I was thinking earlier, actually, it wasn't even about non-duality. I was just contemplating earlier how most humans don't believe them their own experience because <laughs> your own experience is and without thoughts and without concepts there's just this how Walter put it and I like the way you put it the light is always on now you can call that what you like you can call it I am you can call it unassociated awareness you can call it um, being you can call it you can call it anything you like but the but in your own experience it just is isn't it it just is if I sit here it just it's just on <laughs> it's on I can't say whether it's I can't say whether it's no I, it just is. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> Which sounds so boring and nothing, but it's the most fascinating thing. You would not be able to say it is obvious without seeing the obvious. Okay, that's interesting. So, I don't know about that. Like, my light's really bad, so I've got some candles, right? I've got some candles, because my light's terrible. So it's obviously a candle. But actually, do I need to see it's obvious, that it's obvious? Or is it just obvious? It just is obvious, it's a candle. But what's not obvious is how the candle is. Unless you go in boring old science, of course. Which goes into waxes and heat and blah blah. Mm. But that's not my my immediate experience is not the science of my immediate experience is that's a candle. It's obvious it's a candle. And in a way, I don't need to see that it's obvious. The rejection of these terms came about first by persons who I met and so much enjoyed, and all the people who carried on the song of There Is No Consciousness. Yeah, there is no consciousness. We know we can't know, can we? We can't know that there's no consciousness. We just know I'm here. The light is on. I'm here. That's, that's for sure. But I can't say what that is. It just, it just is. It's, it's this, like, deep... You just know. <laughs> what can I say? You just know. I am points to the same immediate, non-time, non-dual, innocent, not knowing awareness. Another, another term that is misinterpreted through Parsons and others who took his vocabulary. See, I don't think vocabulary is um, important. I think one's own living immediate experience i love the light is on i know it's such a good term one's own immediate experience says i'm here 
and we don't even have to have the I am, and we don't even have to have the no consciousness. We don't need any of these things. It just is. We don't need a... Uh... I think someone like Tony puts too much stock in vocabulary. Then he, what he does, what he can do, and what I've seen by others who, as this person says, sings his song, they can dismiss all of the vocabulary. And uh, but there's no one vocabulary that's right for everybody because everybody is their own living oneness, <laughs> their own living experience. Let's just say it for the sake of ease. Not one vocabulary suits everybody. It just doesn't. It just doesn't do it. But I tell you what, what is does is is common with everybody is that they're here. <laughs> they're here. Uh, that's that's the common denominator here, isn't it? All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Sure, these terms can be so much misunderstood as Parson said and so many others. He, on the other hand, introduced the beloved and other terms. Yes, all this is, of course, just what's happening. And so is this response. Yes, yes, because that's all we can do, isn't it? It's just respond. And no response is incorrect when it's when it's because you can't really have a definition of here. We can't really define it because that definition is not going to suit another person. It's just not going to. That's why I don't have um, a set vocabulary because it just doesn't suit. So there's some words I'm reluctant to use heavily. I'll only use them occasionally. I feel strongly about this since I love seeing this message shine in so many writings that are blindly rejected by so many recent messengers who actually speak about exactly the same beauty and immediacy. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, because if you reject it, well, you've just, if you reject everything out of hand, you just become another um, cult. It's like you become cult mentality then, because if you don't adhere to that vocabulary, if you say, I am, immediately you'll be shut down and um, yeah I mean, what can you say about that to say i am well i can say i am here i am here but i don't define that i am in that sentence as a thing it's more natural than that it's more ordinary than that even though being here in this just so immediate, it's immediate, immediate. It's extraordinary. The I am is unboundness, unboundedness that can't be defined and can't be had. Yes, yeah, you can't, you can't own it, you can't, you can't put it in a box. It's just this and it just is, it just is and actually cannot be found, but still, it is. <laughs> the isness is traditionally called I am. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's traditionally called I am. Yeah. I mean, what can't be named can't be named. You can call it whatever you like. Some people call it God. Some people call it consciousness. This. I am beauty, love, life, boundlessness. The words aren't the important thing. They are just artistic expressions of being here. <laughs> 